Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Earlier today, there was a magnitude 5.1 earthquake off the coast of Crete uh, near Greece. Yeah, I got busy um, mapping out different fault lines, got a little carried away. Also documented the uh, location of historical earthquakes all the way up to uh, the state of Israel. The Panama Canal, um, the Red Sea, etc. Here's the location of that 5.1 earthquake. Earlier there was a 4.1. That was yesterday. Same location or close to the same location. And, you know, I've talked about um, what's going on with the subduction of the African plate underneath the Eurasian plate. There is a large trench along here where the subduction is occurring. There's also a locked block in that area. Um, here we have the Hellenic Arch and it goes down and around and then comes up by Cyprus and they changed the name to the Strambo Trench. This is where we got subduction. We got the Cyprus Arch along here. And then up over here, it changes to um, a strike-slip fault line as it goes up towards Turkey and by Syria. And let's bring this down. Yeah, I was documenting all these historical earthquakes. Um, we got Alexander, or Alexandria, 1955. They had a magnitude 6.3 that did quite a bit of damage. That was a magnitude 6.3. 18 people died during that earthquake, and there was 89 deaths. 40 houses completely collapsed, and about 420 houses were ruined. In 1992, there was a magnitude 5.8, maybe a 5.9. Um, that was near Cairo. There was 554 deaths, and... 6,512 people injured, uh, 50,000 people were homeless. Now this is all along the African plate and you know as its movement towards the Eurasian plate. The most significant earthquake was down by um, the Gulf of Akba. Um, it's actually part of the Red Sea uh, fault zone. Um, in 1927, there was a magnitude 6.5. Now, there was over 500 people that were killed, and an additional 700 people were injured. The most lives that were lost was probably in 1754, when they had a magnitude 6.6 .6 earthquake along um, the rift, the Gulf of Suez. Over, over 40,000 people. Um, were probably killed. They figure it was a very shallow earthquake, so it's not unreasonable that that many people were killed. Now this is near the uh, Gulf of Suez Rift, and this is part of the Panama Canal. And the reason they made the Panama Canal here was because it was a lower area of the land formation. Made it ideal for building it there. But it's lower because of the fault zone, because of the rift. You know, large earthquakes in this area used to come only about once every 80 years. And if we go up towards Israel, in 749 AD, there was a magnitude 7.6 along this same rift zone that goes down to the Red Sea. And then there was another earthquake. In 1956, um, that was either a magnitude 5.1 or a 4.8. 136 people died during that earthquake. So if it is on average about every 80 years for a major, and I mean a major earthquake, they're probably pretty darn close to having one. Yeah, let me zoom in so you can see this area. Yeah, this uh, 1956 earthquake was, uh, there's Beirut. Uh, Lebanon, it was along the Lebanon mountains, and there's a, a river here, and we got the Rom Fault, 
that comes all the way down to the Sea of Galilee, which had the uh, 749 AD earthquake. I don't like I said, I was inspired. I got carried away when I was working on charting these earthquakes. Uh, maybe something big's coming. Yeah, you just don't know. Um, we got 1068. Uh, there was another earthquake that estimated to have caused 20,000 deaths. They estimated that that earthquake was probably larger than a magnitude 7. Now, originally, this 5.1 earthquake, USGS had it listed as a 5.0. They actually upgraded this earthquake instead of downgrading it, which is quite unusual for them to do that. And as I've said before, as we see um, the Earth's magnetic field weaken even more, we're going to see larger earthquakes. We're going to see uh, more volcanic um, eruptions, adverse weather. Which reminds me, over here, um, they have mud volcanoes under the ocean, which was only discovered in 1995. Now that is between Cyprus and um, Crete and Greece. And let me see if I can get some of the names of these different little islands here, if they'll show you. Let's see here. Now, oh, another interesting thing I found. Sea levels. Back um, about 18,000 years ago, was about 400 feet lower than what it is now because of the uh, last ice age. All these islands at one time uh, weren't islands. This was um, all connected. Um, yeah, great level plains and agricultural land and then within the last 18,000 years as the ocean levels have risen um, they became islands. I thought that was real interesting. One about the mud volcanoes and the sea levels um, back then which got me to thinking about the weight of that water now pressing down on the crust of the earth. Uh, yeah, which we know can cause earthquakes. So I guess if you ever go to Greece and you'd like to scuba dive, it might be interesting to go down and see these mud volcanoes, um, which means there's probably oil and gas production there. Um, there's definitely methane there. And they did not even know they existed until 1995. Yeah, like I said, I got sidetracked. I've been working on this all day, documenting the historical earthquakes in the uh, Mediterranean and um, Lebanon. So if you have any thoughts or comments or questions, put it down below. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, thank you for your support. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.